26 minutes into the top of the hour. It's been a long time since I've listened to Triumph. This is looks live. Just laying on the line. Dwayne Roy is in studio with us. Say good morning to Dwayne, Mel. Good morning, Dwayne. How's it going, Mel? Great. He you was know, expecting us to have our our studio in the Grand Traverse Resort. Oh, I said it was close to the resort because he asked me where Acme was, and I said it's right by there. Triumph. You wanted to hear a little Triumph this morning. Who's doing lead here? Rick Emmett. Playing the double guitar or whatever they call that thing. You don't see that employed much. No, you don't see that much. Why? What was the purpose behind the double guitar? Just a different. I think you could do the twelve string, twelve twelve string for a bit. You know, the little classical stuff, and then hit Mm -hmm. the electric when your the time calls for it. And see, and all all that explanation means absolutely nothing to me. Well, guitars have a six string and then a twelve string. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so but yeah, Yeah, because it's twelve strings on top and six in the bottom. Where does triumph rate in your mind? Overall, internationally, in the history of rock and roll. Oh, Triumph is underrated. One of the most underrated bands around. Really? Well, no, no, yeah. One of the best Canadian The best bands. Canadian. I, the I still, the I number think. one best. Yes. We had the discussion last time. Better than Rush. Better than Rush? Better Everyone than is Rush, better yeah. than Rush. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I can't why, stand why Rush. Why do we hate Rush? What's the deal? Getty Lee's voice. It's uh, like yeah, n- fingernails really? on a chalkboard. Yeah. Yeah. I would say Triumph compare against ACDC. Just saying, just throwing it out there. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I like ACDC. I love Dwayne. When was the last time you were on? It was. Oh, it's been over a yeah. year. Yeah, spring. And then he immediately comes up. We talked about this last time. Yeah. Just because I watched the YouTube video the other day doing some homework. Oh, really? God, yeah. you must have been. I was uh, bored. I was bored. Uh, doing homework? Yeah. You are going back to school. I am. I'm going back to school. Why were you doing homework? I was doing homework because the wife was shopping and I was sitting in the hotel room. Because I can't stand to go walk, walk Where, them all. Oh, yeah. So I had God, to watch some YouTube yeah. videos. Where were you? Here. Oh, you're here? Yeah. You come down here a lot? Yeah. What was that, Mel? Do you hear that? You come down here a lot. What, am I Scottish all of a sudden? <laughs> what the? Everyone. Ah, you grew, Did you grow up in Walla? I grew, yeah, born and raised, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Do, you, do you get tired of the Canadian characterizations from us Americans? Uh, oh yeah, eh? Be really, you don't really talk like that, do you, eh? No, I'm just. Now, what was that? Uh, that was a little Australian. I'm gonna stop. It? I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I apologize. So you know where that place is? That the fish, the fish guy was talking about where yes. he took off from. Yeah, Horn Pain. Yeah. What is it called? Horn Pain. Where is Horn Pain? How far from Walla? A couple hours north. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it lovely this time of year? I've never been to Horn Pain. You've never no, been to Horn Pain. No, it's off the beaten path. So I've never been there. I work with people from Hornpain. Well, where the hell is Walla if Hornpain's off the beaten path? Walla is right on Highway 17. Really? Right on the main highway, yeah. Oh, of course. What are you doing? Well, shut up, Mel. Oh, see? That was... Th- that, that Next was time you're coming for. to the Potomac studio, Dwayne. Come on now. I, oh, God, that was just awful. Uh,